So in this video, I'm going to do a basic walkthrough of the VB Toolkit location marker system. We're going to set a location marker and then we're going to load that location marker. I'm also going to show you how to delete it and to overwrite it. So once you've found the position of your stage that you want to keep and you've found your camera angle, so we're going to want to set a location marker that's going to store the settings of our stages location and some of our other stage settings into a location marker actor. And then we'll be able to recall those settings from that actor at any time during our production. So first you'll want to make sure that you're in the location marker tab. So just select this location tab here. You can see that I already have two location markers here. We're going to start by adding a location marker. So I'm just going to name this location three. Generally, you want to keep this based on the general shot that you're getting. Sometimes you can get multiple shots within a location. And then sometimes you're adjusting your location slightly uh, for every single shot that you get, because you may want to have that perfect background within your level. So you may be turning your stage every time you get a shot. So you can add a location marker for every single shot if you have to. So once you've set your settings and wrote some notes, I generally like to keep these notes based on the story so that I'm able to keep track of what's going on. I'd highly recommend if you're doing this with a director to do the same. So we're going to add that location marker just by hitting the add button. And then we'll actually see a location three marker get placed into our level. If we select that marker, we can also select that marker here in the widget. Now, if we wanted to change any of our settings, our notes, the name, and all of the settings that are cached in the location marker, we can actually go to the actor and change them here. And then if we need that to reflect back here, Maybe I wanted to change this into a medium close up. I can just hit enter and then I'll have to refresh the page and then that will reflect in the widget here. So now to load a location marker, I'm going to load one of my other location markers. You just click the load location button here. So if you have slightly modified your stage position and you want that to reflect in your location marker, you can overwrite the location marker by hitting this little tiny overwrite location marker button. Now, I definitely recommend being careful with this because you're automatically going to overwrite those settings just by hitting that button. And then now we've overwritten that location with those updated settings. Uh, so if you need to delete a location, uh, you can hit the red X at the top right of the widget and that will delete your location. Uh, now, if you've deleted a location by mistake, you can hit control Z and it will bring your location back, but then you'll have to refresh the widget for that to be reflected in your widget. 